So in a large mixing bowl, you're gonna serve the flour, baking soda, and baking powder. And after that, you're gonna whisk it all together to an earthquake in your kitchen. My signature. So then in the, in the separate bowl, you're gonna melt the butter, add sugar, and whisk it all till it's well combined. Add some vanilla essence and three tablespoons of milk. Give that a good whisk and that's the liquid. After you whisk that all to an earth wick, add one egg. After that, you're gonna whisk it. Yeah, whisk it. That's the correct way to do. Add one tablespoon. Okay, now I'll add two tablespoons of flour and give that also a good whisk. We need to add three eggs, so we're going to alternate between the eggs and the flour. Add the eggs and the flour. Then the eggs and the flour. Okay. Yes, whisk it. Oh my god, this girl is whisking it so well. Who is she? I need to know her. And there goes the third egg. And I'm going to add the flour. And I'm going to whisk it all. Whisk! Now, after it's all well combined, I'm going to add the red food coloring. The red food coloring did not turn out red. It turned out light peachy color at the end. Well, that's a hot for you. I've lined now a baking pan. And after I've lined that with butter paper and butter, I'm going to put in the batter, the cake batter. And I'm going to fill it nicely up till the top. And we're going to bake it in the oven. We're going to flatten the surface, obviously, and bake it in the oven for about 40, de 40 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. And once it's done, it will look something like that. Oh, wow! Oh, my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, oh, oh my God, the butter paper. Oh, my God, it's so hot and warm. Ah, this is so good. In a separate bowl now for the cream, we're going to add... Oh, one minute, I forgot to put the switch on. Let me just put it on. Yes, I put it on. Now in a separate bowl, you're going to add 400 ml of cream and you're going to whisk, beat it with an egg beater to make whipped cream. And I'm whisking it and I've added some sugar. It's one for, you know, cup of sugar. Yeah, and I'm going to whisk it all. Whisk it, whisk it, whisk it. Well, we're going to whisk it all till it gets thicker. Unfortunately, in my case, it did not get thicker. I don't know which kind of cream this was or whatever. But yeah, maybe I didn't do it right. But you're going to whisk it till you find a minion behind your egg beater. Okay, so now just whisk it all. Uh, in a Ziploc bag, you're gonna beat some Oreos. That's like 240 grams of Oreos, and add two tablespoons of butter, and you're gonna mix that all well till everything is well combined. And I'm using this pan with space comes out. I don't know what it's exactly called, but yeah. So I'm gonna flatten off the. Oh, you want to put a mixture in it, and yeah, just press it down till it's nice and firm. We're going to freeze it in the fridge. Okay, so in my cream, I added one tablespoon of cornstarch, which didn't work out well. Yep, because it wasn't getting thicker. So this is just gelatin and milk, yep. Just heat it up in the microwave. And I'm um, adding in this three tablespoons of lemon juice. Just squeeze that all and mix it. Well, lemon gives a good taste, so yep. So now that's the gelatin and lemon mix. And I've added that in the cream. And as you can see, my cream still hasn't thickened up. So that was a disaster. I don't know why it happened, but yeah. <sighs> so that was it. So I just trimmed the edges and I've leveled the cake. And I've added, placed it in the center. Now I'm just directly adding the cream filling. And yep. You're going to add the cream filling and remove any air bubbles and tap it. And then you're going to pop it in your refrigerator for a couple of hours. Maybe two or three until it's set. And only when it's set, you are supposed to add this. Well, this is just one and a half cups of cranberry juice. Actually, it's with the jelly on the top. Okay, so there's a price coming up. Okay, that's one fourth cup of sugar. And low flame. Oops. Uh, I'm a mistake with the gas. Yep. So, on low flame, we are gonna heat the cranberry and sugar. We're gonna heat it up till 50 degrees Celsius. Well, I did not do that as well. I'm kind of impatient, but yep. So, we're gonna mix that all well together. And I'm adding one tablespoon of lemon juice in that. And yep, 
mix it all well. I added one four tablespoon. Oh, that's half tablespoon of gelatin. And yeah, just make sure to mix that all well separately and then add it. Okay, so I've got the cranberry juice and the cream mixture, and I'm gonna pour it all in there. Yeah, and that's the disaster that exactly happened. I should have waited for the cream to set, but I did not. And there, well, at that point, you know, there was some raspberry juice and falling on my leg. Okay, so that was a disaster. The cream was denser and it came on the top, and the cranberry juice went down. Down. So we are gonna roll the cake from the fridge. Uh, by the way, I did not put in the video. I actually even put melted white chocolate on the top. Wait one minute. What? You used my melted white chocolate? Mm, yeah. Why? Because with that matcha is there. What? I didn't go. And my mistake, I dropped matcha in it, so it became kind of bitter. What is matcha? Green tea powder. No problem. No it's problem. Healthy. It's healthy. It's healthy. <laughs> it's bitter. Okay. No problem. Whoa! Oh, I didn't expect this. Actually, all. Oh, I put it in the building. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, this was to show off, but. Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't expect this. It looks so good. Okay, it's fine. It's Actually, watery. this had to be on the top. It's watery. It's dripping so fast. Yeah, because that's not set. Wow. Okay. Wow, it looks good. Oh no, I could keep it picture from my phone. Okay, don't look at this side. So, I'm just gonna. Oh my gosh. Disaster. Keep quiet. Okay. <laughs> when you <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's flowing! Keep it in the fridge for a little while. Now, is it a good thing that it's flowing or no? Oops. Oops. What are you doing? First time I did something. Okay, that's it. Um, now for the tasting part. Let's. Wow! Oh, oh, oh! Actually, there is a cake inside. You can't see that because it melted on the top. I can't wash this also. Okay, I'll just keep this back. Mama! <laughs> oh, it's looking nice. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Okay, wait, wait. Um, okay, oh wow, it looks so good. Man, look at this layer. Maybe look at this. So now I'm just gonna try this out. Okay. You just make a good reaction just for the video. It tastes very nice. It's actually good. It's this cranberry juice. Queen. It's like ice coat, man. <laughs> Oh, what happened? Spoil. It's a hot cake. It's a hot cake. <laughs> Why is it Hey guys, so if you all like my video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below for more crazy videos every week. I'll try and keep up to my commitments. But yeah, hope you like the video. Bye bye. By the way, the cake was really, really delicious. The fact that by mistake we had matcha in it. We had white chocolate and we had cream with gelatin and cranberry juice Why and Oreo. Okay, fine. Yeah, but the cake was so delicious. It like had the sponge cake was really tasty. The Oreo base was really amazing. And the cranberry juice, which turned like an ice cream, was so, so, so good.